How to make a thermal weld cable to rod connection. Before we begin, let's make sure we have the proper tools handy. They include the proper thermal weld mold and weld metal for the connection you'll be making, safety glasses, gloves, file, pliers, crimping tool, a natural bristle brush, a wire brush, flint igniter, propane torch, and handle clamps. Before you begin, review the enclosed instructions for general safety, material preparation, welding procedures, and specific information about the particular type of connection you are about to make. Prepare the cable and ground rod where the weld is to be made by using the wire brush to clean all dirt, debris, and contaminants away from both. Now that the cable and rod are ready for the mold, insert the offset handles into the mold. Use the propane torch to evaporate all moisture from the cable, rod, and mold. It is only necessary to heat the mold for the first weld of the day. Insert the cable into the mold while clamping the mold onto the rod and close the handle clamp. Make sure the mold is seated correctly on the ground rod with the cable running through it. Next, Place the steel disc into the mold, making sure it is seated properly. Then open the proper container of weld metal and pour it into the mold. Close the lid. The starting powder is located in the bottom of the tube. Tap the container to loosen it and place about 25% of it into the Easy Light ignition pocket. Now, using the flint igniter, ignite the starting powder. Wait approximately 15 seconds before opening the mold. We recommend while waiting, use the natural bristle brush to clean the top of the mold. Then open the lid and clean inside. Cleaning it now will prepare your mold in advance for the next weld. The result? A permanent, maintenance-free connection. One that will not loosen or corrode. One that is unaffected by high current surge and carries current equal to or greater than the conductor. You have just created the ultimate connection using Thermal Weld Exothermic Welding Products.